Hey guys, this is Beverly Fowles Jones, the Silver Fox of Consciousness, and today <laughs> we're in the kitchen. It's Wednesday, so we're in the kitchen, and today I'm going to cook something that I've been putting off for a couple of years. And you say, what? Because what I did a couple of years ago, and it's, it's, let's turn this around right. Let's, I know, it's backwards. I bought black rice. I was in Costco, and I picked up some black rice. And I said, oh, let me try this stuff. And I cooked it just like I would do regular rice. And I looked at it and I went, ew. I didn't even eat it. You know why? Because it's black and purple. And it was like my whole mind just couldn't handle this idea of black rice. Well, I went out and I started researching black rice recipes. And number one, I cooked it wrong. Number two, I had no idea of the nutrition in it. And number three, it was like you got, what is this? Three pound bag of black rice. Now, what are you going to do with it? So I've given some away to a friend and she's cooked it and she loves it. So it's like, okay. Now it's time. So let's get started. And I'm going to talk to you about cook, number one, cooking the black rice. And number two, using it as a rice salad, not as a hot rice. It can be a side dish, but I'm making it into a salad. So let's get started. Well, welcome back. And let me tell you about black rice. Black rice is a nice thing to add to your dietary um, food choices. Now, if you're low carb, uh, this might cause you a little problem. If you're not low carb, but you're medium carb, then this is, is good. The um, it's 160 calories, but the serving size is a quarter of a cup. Now you know most of them, including me, when I get rice, I want at least a half a cup. So that's 320 calories. Now I'm one meal a day, so I'm working to get all my calories in in that one meal. So for me, the 320 calories plus my vegetables and fat and small amount of protein, I should be able to get to fourteen to sixteen hundred calories in one meal. Now what's really great about black rice is the fact that it has five grams of protein in that quarter cup. Five grams. What's not so great about black rice, it's thirty four grams of carbohydrates. And that's why I said if you're keto or you're doing low carb, you may want to, you know, think about it or a treat for you when you're doing this. Or you get enough dietary fiber that it will counteract there's 34 grams of carbs because there's only 2 grams of dietary fiber in this. So you want some high fiber vegetables when you're eating the black rice. Now the key here is that black rice is rich in antioxidants. That deep color gives you that. It's a detoxifier. fire. You know, it has some fiber, right? And it can help you with diabetes and obesity according to the documentation. But I'd take that with a grain of salt. But what I really loved was the fact that it was high in protein. In that quarter of a cup, you had five grams of protein, which was really, really good. 
It was called forbidden rice or emperor's rice. And they reserved this for the emperor because they wanted to ensure his longevity and his health. And that is why. It talked about black rice has been around forever. Uh, it's not something that's in your normal grocery store, so that's why I, I didn't know about it. But it, it was created 10,000 years ago. And it the black color gives it that high concentration of antioxidants. And it, the article talks about blueberry, eggplant, purple cauliflower, purple corn, acai berries, even Concord grapes. So be aware that it is good for you. <laughs> yes, so the, so the black rice is good for you. So let's talk about what I'm doing today. Today I am doing a black rice salad and I wanted to show you about what the black rice looks like. So we've got the the balsamic rice here and then I've got the parboiled rice and I've got the emperor black rice. Now the balsami is nice and long and, and kind of thin and it's a lightweight raw rice and parboiled boiled rice is, I call it the Uncle Ben's, which is what my mother used to cook all the time. But I wanted to show you what the three rices side by side looks like. Well, I'm going to d cook one cup of rice and after I did it I should have just cooked a half a cup because I wound up putting most of that rice in the freezer for an, another day you know rice freezes very well after it's been cooked but what you want to do is rinse it very well and the idea is to rinse it to the point that it is, um, you know, the water is not as purple because that purple water just keeps, you know, coming and coming. So you want to make sure that you rinse it two, three, four times and drain it off and, and so that the water is not as purple as it was previously. Now, whether it the purple water takes away some of the antioxidant from the rice. I do not know, but I'm used to rinsing my rice, and this is also recommended in the directions on the back of the bag. So just make sure that you rinse your rice thoroughly and uh, making sure that it's all cleaned. Once you've finished, with your rinse then what you're going to do is make sure that you drain it very well as you see I took a strainer and drained it and then I continue to um, rinse it off to make sure that it's rinsed properly okay now I'm cooking this in my Power XL pressure cooker. Now some of you have an Instapot so you can cook it in there. So I had a one cup of water with a you know with a cup of the rice and and so we're going to put it in the pot stir it up just a little bit and we'll get the lid on and put it in its locked position. Make sure it's in the locked position. Now those of you that have Instapot you've got the release and the you know pressure button so make sure it's on the pressure button and then I chose the rice option in the medium rice while that was cooking I started chopping up the vegetables all right so the rice is cooking it's got four minutes to go but I'm going to still not open the lid until the pressure goes down and then I'll open the lid and then I'll let the rice cool off. 
Now on the back of the package, there is a recipe called Emperor's Black Rice Salad with Ginger Dressing. And it calls for peanut oil, which I'm not going to use. Um, the black rice, it has um, two cups of water to cook it. I haven't put any salt in it yet. I didn't cook it with the salt. It says one third cup of pecans. I'm going to go check and see if I've got some almonds or something. I may have some pecans in there too, or pecans, depending on where you are from. And then um, two tablespoons of dried cranberries. Well, don't have cranberries, but I have <laughs> more than two tablespoons of raisins. I'll, I'll measure it out. And then um, three scallions. So I've got cut up green onions. I've added celery and I've added, um, you saw the pictures a little earlier of them being whole um, or here, uh, my peppers from my garden. And do that because I wanted a little bit different flavor. So it calls for ginger dressing. Don't have it. So here's what I'm going to do. Because of some suggestions. I went to the oil and vinegar store here in Dallas. It's a wonderful store. And this is balsamic vinegar. And it's blackberry ginger. So I've got some ginger in it. And I have some ginger paste. And uh, also from the Texas Olive Company, uh, I, think, I think I did a video on them. If not, it'll be coming in the future. Um, Texas Olive Hill Country, right? And it's Chiquita. Now, what does the Chiquita say? Well, I'm going to have to read this uh, straight off the bottle. So let me read it off the bottle. Delicate, sweet, and buttery with notes of green almond. This new Spanish varietal is sure to please the palate. It's for sauteing vegetables, searing meats, drizzling over fresh salad, or combining with other savory ingredients to create a decadent dip. This varietal is an everyday oil used graciously. Okay, so this is Chiquita from Texas Olive Company in the Hill Country. That was when I was down in Austin. So, got these three, and here's my plan. I'm going to take a teaspoon of the ginger paste, probably two tablespoons of the balsamic vinegar, and a tablespoon or two of the olive oil. Mix it up, and that, oh, it's ready. That will be my dressing. So I'm going to go off camera and get this stuff mixed up and come back to you. Okay, I'm back. It is finally, the, the rice is done. I'm just waiting for the pressure to go down. Now, those of you with Instapots, it's my understanding that you have a little button that goes down when your pressure is down. Those of us with Power XLs, We've just got to do a little test. And if I hear that, I know it still has some pressure in it. So I'm just going to let it go for a while. In the meantime, I've got this all mixed up. And I wound up using four tablespoons of the balsamic vinegar, the blackberry ginger balsamic vinegar. And I tasted it. It is just awesome. Um, I had forgotten what it tasted like from when I was at the store. Because at the store, you can taste all these awesome different balsamic vinegar flavors. Pear is also my favorite. And then you can taste all these infused olive oil. So, awesome. I used three tablespoons of the Chiquita uh, olive oil from Texas um, Hill Country. What is it? Olive Farm. And then, uh, so I got that. All this is done, so I'm going to mix it up in a bowl. I'm not going to mix this in. I'm going to go see if I got some nuts that I can use, and I'm going to put some nuts in here. And now, um, when I come back, it'll be more voiceover, because I need to just take pictures while I'm in the middle of this, until I figure out how to put a stand up and talk to you while I'm actually doing this. All right, be back soon. 
Well, I did find the nets and I got them all chopped up um, to be added to the group. And now um, the brown bowl was too small, so I got my great big um, measuring cup bowl and mixed all the ingredients together. The rice is good. It was cooled down a little bit. I'll let you do, it do that. I mixed it up and stirred it and mixed it all together. And it looks different, but it is awfully um, consistent. The texture is nice. Once I mixed everything up, then we put it in the refrigerator so it would marinate overnight. Okay, hello. And this is the next day um, from when I made this emperor black rice salad. And I let it marinate overnight in the refrigerator. I did sneak and take a taste of the rice and it was really good so my whole trepidation of eating purple stuff and then I thought about well you eat eggplant and I go yeah but most of the time I peel off the purple then you go well yeah you were in Hawaii and you ate the blue potatoes and I go well yeah that was part of the luau so tasting this after it's marinated overnight. So let's see what happens. Well, it's a little dry, so I assume that the rice absorbed the oil and the balsamic vinegar. So I may add a little bit more, hmm, not more oil, but maybe some balsamic vinegar to moisten it up a little bit. But in reality, this is a good salad. It's really good. So try it. Make comments below. Do a thumbs up um, if you like this video. Share it. Um, if you haven't subscribed before, become a subscriber. Wednesdays is whatever I decide I'm going to do today. But here lately, it's been cooking. I've got some a couple gardening things that are becoming out. And, you know, I've just got to think of some more of the things that I want to share with you. You know, I don't want to share with you me cleaning up my gutters and, and that kind of stuff. But maybe I will. Because as an older woman, I'm getting up on a ladder and cleaning up my gutters. Anyway, this is Beverly Fells Jones, the Silver Fox of Consciousness. And thank you for watching today. And let me know if you've tried this recipe, you know, or if there's some recipe that you want me to try or something you want me to create. Because those of you who have watched before, most of the time it's whatever's in my refrigerator and whatever I decide to cook today and my own style of cooking. And sometimes it's recipes and sometimes it's not. Take care and I'll see you on the next video.